everyone and welcome to our lesson on the evolution of the Earth's atmosphere. Today we'll be looking at how we think the atmosphere of the Earth has changed over time and what the atmosphere consists of now. So let's start with a little task. On the screen you can see two images, one of the early Earth and one of the Earth now. How would you describe the Earth in both of those images? Okay, so you may have had some ideas such as the early earth looks really warm, so clearly it must have had a high temperature, whereas the earth now looks a lot cooler in comparison. There's no water on the early earth, you can't see any on the image and it looks too hot for there to be liquid water on the surface. Whereas the earth now, there is lots of water. And the image also suggests that the early earth looks volcanic, like lava. But the earth now, there's clouds, there's water and there's, and there's crust for people to stand on. So now we need to look at how those changes occurred. As we saw earlier, we think that the early Earth had a lot of volcanic activity and that can release high levels of carbon dioxide gas, nitrogen and water vapour and also ash. Ash clouds would block light from the sun which would cause a drop in the Earth's temperature and if that happened the water vapour would cool and condense and we think this is what formed the oceans. Carbon dioxide dissolves into oceans. Also, if plant life evolved, then carbon dioxide would be taken in for photosynthesis and this would also produce oxygen. Carbon can also be locked up in compounds found in sedimentary rocks made from seashells and in crude oil. Now, We'd like you to have a go at describing each stage of that flow chart. Take a few minutes, pause if you need to, and then we'll come back to have a look at the answers.
Okay, so you might have something that looks like the stages below. Check what you had and see if you got it right. An overall summary of that evolution of the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide levels decreased. This is because plants take in carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide dissolved into the oceans. And it can also be locked up in compounds found in sedimentary rocks and fossil fuels. Oceans formed. Water, this is from water vapour released from volcanic activity, which cooled and condensed and formed the oceans. Also, oxygen levels increased. This is released during photosynthesis, which occurs in plants. So now that we've looked at the evolution of the atmosphere, let's have a look at the Earth's atmosphere now. The levels of these gases have remained constant for millions of years. Although you will learn in future lessons that humans are having an impact, but for now, let's just stick with what we know. Currently, the Earth's atmosphere is approximately 80% nitrogen and approximately 20% oxygen with very small amounts of other gases, including carbon dioxide, argon, and water vapour. Some of these percentages are so small that they barely are noticeable on the pie chart. So let's have a quick check. Can you remember the approximate percentage of nitrogen and the approximate percentage of oxygen? What did you get? Did you get 80% for nitrogen and 20% for oxygen? These are commonly asked in exams, so make sure you are familiar with these numbers. Now, let's have a look at what this topic would look like on an exam question. On the screen now, you can see a six mark question. So the first thing we are gonna do is we are going to bug the question. So let's box those command words. As you can see, describe and explain are the command words in this question. So, describe, remember, means say what you see. Example on a graph, or in this case, it could be in the information provided in the question. Or you could also be asked to say what something is like. Explain is to say why something has happened. So, why has that change taken place? So now let's have a read through the question and the text and underline some key points. So we're being asked to describe and explain how the surface of the early Earth and its atmosphere have changed to form the surface of the Earth and its atmosphere today. So let's go to the information and see what else they have provided us with. So we can see that in their surface comments, they have commented on the early Earth being covered by volcanoes and in the Earth today, the, most of the surface is covered by oceans. And in the atmosphere, they've talked about how the majority of the atmosphere was carbon dioxide and water vapour in the early Earth, and now it's nitrogen and oxygen. So when answering this question, we're going to be looking at what has changed between those two Earths and explaining why that change has occurred. So now take some time, pause the video if you need to and have a go at answering this question.
Okay. So, as this was a six mark question, we're aiming to get as many marks as possible. So we were aiming to get into the level three category of the mark scheme. To do that, we needed descriptions of at least two changes and linked explanations to each of those descriptions. So what would that look like in an answer? So now on the screen, you can see a six mark answer for this question. If you read through each bullet point, you can see how each change was linked to an explanation. So, for example, the oceans formed because water vapour cooled down and condensed. On the next bullet point, they've said that the carbon dioxide percentage decreased because it then dissolved into those oceans. And then in terms of photosynthesis, that was linked to two changes. So have a look at what you got, see how many of those points you covered and then you can move on to any follow-up activities linked to this video. See you in the next lesson, guys.